In today's video, we're going to use column subtraction to subtract one digit numbers from two digit numbers. Here is a number sentence. 24 take away 6. It's really important to line the numbers up correctly when you're doing column subtraction. So we have the tens in one column and the ones in another column. The number 24 has two tens and it has four ones. The number 6 has six ones. So now our column subtraction is set up, we can subtract the digits in each column. We start from the right hand side, so we're starting with the ones. We can't subtract 6 from 4, so we need to borrow a 10 from the tens column. If we borrow a 10, two tens becomes one 10. So now we have 14 take away 6, which is 8. Now we need to subtract the digits in the tens column. So we have 1 take away 0, which is 1. So we have 1 10 and 8 ones, so the answer is 18. Let's have a look at another example. Here is a number sentence. 34 take away 7. Remember to line your numbers up correctly, so we have the tens in one column and the ones in another column. The number 34 has three tens and it has four ones. The number 7 has seven ones. Pause the video to give you time to work out the answer. Press play when you're done. We start from the right hand side, so we're starting with the ones. We can't subtract 7 from 4, so we need to borrow a 10 from the tens column. If we borrow a 10, 3 tens becomes 2 tens. So now we have 14 take away 7, which is 7. Now we need to subtract the digits in the tens column. So we have 2 take away 0, which is 2. So we have 2 tens and 7 ones, so the answer is 27. Let's have a look at one more example. Here is a number sentence. 32 take away 8. Remember to line your numbers up correctly. So we have the tens in one column and the ones in another column. The number 32 has three tens and it has two ones. The number eight has eight ones. Pause the video to give you time to work out the answer. Press play when you're done. We start from the right hand side, so we're starting with the ones. We can't subtract 8 from 2, so we need to borrow a 10 from the tens column. If we borrow a 10, 3 tens becomes 2 tens. So now we have 12 take away 8, which is 4. Now we need to subtract the digits in the tens column. So we have 2 take away 0, which is 2. So we have 2 tens and 4 ones, so the answer is 24.